Now here's an interesting and often overlooked behavior of Java semaphores. Let's say you create a semaphore with zero permits like this. This means no thread can acquire a permit initially because the count is zero. Let's go ahead and run this, right? It is blocked because there are no permits available. But here's the twist. You can release a permit even if none were initially available. So it is completely legal to do washroom dot release here. If you write washroom dot release here, and try to print washroom permit washroom permit release for the first time this is completely valid okay so you can release a permit even if none were initially available this increases the permit count from 0 to 1 now since you have released it first it is possible to acquire it now okay so you go ahead and try to run this will get an output washroom permit released for the first time and washroom permit acquired for the first time. So even if our semaphore initially had zero permits, we can release it first instead of acquiring it and you can create a space to acquire. So in reality, it's like a washroom which was not in used or locked due to maintenance work going inside it. But as soon as it got ready, washrooms lock was opened and now you are allowed to use that particular washroom.